Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly. My email address is tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a 2018 edition of a model originally launched in 2015. This is the MBNF Legacy Machine Perpetual in titanium. Grade 5 titanium, a 50-piece limited edition, 581 pieces in this spectacular power reserve, split escapement, perpetual calendar movement, designed in conjunction with Irish watchmaker Stephen McDonnell. He was the operative friend of Max during this MBNF collaboration. So the watch is large, but in titanium it's more manageable than in the past. 44 millimeters in diameter. You can see in profile, 17.7 millimeters thick, but a lot of that is the sapphire. 50.2 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a 24 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now this watch is large. And it wears large, but I can fit it on my wrist. I believe if your wrist is my size or larger, take a look down the barrel there, you're going to find that this watch wears well. Compared to previous models in precious metal, this is a lot lighter and easier to wear. And while it's probably not going to fit underneath any kind of shirt cuff, it is surprisingly cuffable with a jacket. One shot over the top, you can see the lugs are out to the edge of my wrist, but not beyond. The down the barrel shot pretty much illustrates exactly the same. The watch includes a robust strap. Again, it's got a broad lug spacing here of 24 millimeters, which gives it a nice proportional stance on the wrist. The lugs are drilled close to the case so they can be pulled straight down thanks to the use of a curved spring bar. By drilling the lugs closer to the case, you bring the pivot centers of the strap inboard of the end of the lugs, which makes the watch more wearable on a small wrist. The pivot points of the strap are closer to the center. Problem is when you get closer to the case, if you use a straight spring bar, it can impede the motion of the strap. So a curved spring bar here is used. We have large rectangular scale alligator leather, black matte finish, monotone stitch, folded edge on the bottom, it's actually rubber inlay to help isolate the leather from the sweat, heat, moisture, and grit of the wrist. And you can see no crimping, no gouging. It's a brand new MBNF strap. We have the GNF Chatelain leaf spring double deploying system used by many, many high-end brands. RM is on that list too. GNF Chatelain is a clasp bracelet and case maker owned by the Chanel family of companies. And MBNF, in its characteristic fashion, credits all of its friends who collaborate on these watches, including strap makers and clasp makers. The clasp is titanium, like the watch, and because of the leaf spring, when you pull it open, it snaps open. And when you shut it, it snaps and stays shut. MBNF's double-edged battle axe motif on the buckle itself, which is also prismatic, open, airy, a little bit like flying buttresses. The case is interesting in that it's characteristic of the Legacy Machine series, which answer the hypothetical, what if MBNF had been around and designing wristwatches in the era of Jules Verne, in the second half of the 19th century, maybe the steampunk era of the 1880s and 90s? The idea being that this watch would be the result. Now, we have little pushers for the perpetual calendar functions, which is great because you don't need a tool to set any of this, and it's quite straightforward. The case is a bit antique in that it almost looks like a pocket watch on the wrist. You have lugs that are stepped out dramatically as though they weren't intentionally part of the case, and then you have a case that has a rounded profile. It's almost completely circular, since if you look carefully, you can see it doesn't join with the top of the lugs. There's a definite gap between them. It does sort of look like a pocket watch that has been converted to use a strap. The bezel is very subtly concave, polished all the way around with a very short vertical lip, and then satination in profile, and it's contrasting satination, longitudinal on the case and vertical on the lugs. We have a little MBNF branded crown, which has both polish and media blast. The attention to detail is strong here. So let's take a tour of the dial. All of these are lacquer dials, so beautiful, cooked, polished, hand-laid lacquer. Here's your hours and minutes, here's your day, here's your date, here's your month, here's your leap year indicator, and the little silver leap year dot at the end is the leap year and then you have the power reserve indicator twin mainspring barrels manual wind three days of power reserve it is a split escapement so if you're familiar with the legacy machine split escapement this uses that basic a platform. We have the enormous 14 millimeter free sprung balance on a huge black polished and rounded steel balance bridge with the full bridge and the free sprung architecture we get 
tremendous resilience against shock, as well as precise adjustment. You can see the balance 14 millimeters across, enormous, beating away at 18,000 vibrations per hour, and it uses a hand-curved overcoil to keep very consistent time in every position. Concentric breathing in every position is one of the advantages of an overcoil architecture. And because it does have recessed bolts, aerodynamics has less impact by creating less friction on the balance. Yes, that's a factor. 18,000 vibrations per hour times 24 hours a day times 365 days a year. Yes, aerodynamics becomes a factor. The perpetual calendar system is located entirely on the dial side. Stephen McDonald created this system based on what MBNF describes as a mechanical processor and a standardized 28-day month. Now, normally, perpetual calendars work with a grand lever system, which is enormously well, anachronistic, because it's been around since the pocket watch era, but also space consuming, which is not ideal on a densely packed wristwatch. So getting rid of the wheels, a grand levier system, les roues, a grand levier, I suppose you would say, they use that mechanical processor that's a lot more compact by using a 28-day standardized month. As a result, this whole system works almost exclusively on wheels with no real levers involved. The levers, such as they are, are used for setting. Now you can see that we have a star and spring system used to index the indications. And there's a lot of mechanism on the dial side, including a lovely spiral that acts as the tensioning spring for the power reserve indicator. If you want to make a change, you can do so easily. You just use the pusher adjuster on the side of the case, turn it all over, and you can see the lingering influence of Kerry Voodelin, and he was the collaborator on the original Legacy Machine, and though he's not explicitly billed here, this is Stephen McDonald's show. Nevertheless, this 41 Joule 581 or part movement uh, does bear the hallmarks of Kerry Voodelin, including enormous broad bevels, sharp outward points where bevels meet, sharp inward angles where bevels meet, wheels and spokes that have been internally beveled, something you'll miss even on Geneva hallmark movements in many cases, solarization of the crown wheel core and the ratchet wheels, you can see the escapement. This is why it's called a split escapement. It's on the bottom of the watch and the balance is on the top. You can see little golden chaton cups. A throwback to the pocket watch here are used for the pivot jewels. The bevels truly are magnificent. We have satination on the wheels, again, beveling on their interiors, engine turning or perlage on the base plate. All screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. And all of this is 30 meters water resistant. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this MBNF Legacy Machine Perpetual.